Now that you are in a deep trance, we are going to give you a trigger, or reinforce it if you already have it. The trigger phrase is I am a slime pup. If you use this trigger phrase, or if someone that you trust says the trigger phrase you are a slime pup, you will undergo the transformation that you are about to experience again at whatever speed you want. Additionally, you will instantly turn back into a human if you use the reset phrase I am not a slime pup, or if someone that you trust says the reset phrase you are not a slime pup. Now the transformation will begin. First, feel a pleasantly warm sensation on the center of your back as something slimy touches it. Then, the slimy sensation starts to spread across your back, eventually reaching your chest. When it does, you see that the substance feels slimy because that's exactly what it is, slime, or more specifically, slime that is as white as fresh snow. If you try to block the progress of the slime you will find that it just pushes you away, and if you try to take it off of you you will find that it is impossible to grip. As it spreads you notice a gentle pressure wherever it touches you like that of a hug. After a little while the slime has spread to cover your entire torso and the feeling of a gentle hug that it brings has made you feel calm and relaxed in a way that normally can only be brought on by someone comforting you, and the gentle warmth has made you feel somewhat drowsy and even a bit lazy. With your torso covered, the slime starts to spread across your arms and legs, quickly reaching and covering your hands and feet. The slime feels so relaxing and comforting, and you can't help but feel oh so sleepy as a result. With your hands and feet fully covered the slime starts to spread up your neck, quickly covering it and then proceeding to cover your head. When the slime covers your mouth, you find that you can still breathe through it just fine. Similarly, you will find that you can breathe through your nose even after the slime covers it. Also, while the slime will cover your eyes, the slime that covers them will become completely transparent allowing you to see just as well as you could before the transformation began. With your entire body covered in the warm slime the transformation comes to a halt for a bit and you can't help but just relax and enjoy the feeling of it. The slime covers your entire body making you feel like you are being hugged all over, and the gentle warmth of it is so relaxing. You can't help but close your eyes due to how tired and relaxed the slime is making you feel. In fact, it even makes you feel so lazy that you don't want to move, so you don't. Instead. You think about the slime and how you love how smooth it feels, as well as the facts that you find its moistness to be surprisingly enjoyable and that the softness of it makes it so that you are comfortable no matter what position you are in. You stay like this for what could have been a few minutes or a few seconds, you are too tired and content right now to keep track of time or even care how much has passed. You just know that you are happy and content and that's all that matters right now. After the transformation has been halted for 5 minutes at the most, you will feel a tingling sensation on your spine as the slime connects to your nervous system, allowing you to feel things not only through your own body, but through the slime as well. This makes it feel like you are both being hugged and hugging yourself at the same time causing you to feel as if you are both being comforted and comforting someone else, this combination making you feel even better. Also. Feeling the pleasant warmth within the slime as well as on you causes the feelings of relaxation, tiredness and laziness to become so much stronger. Of course, the slime isn't real so it can't actually heat you up, so you will act according to your actual temperature but you will find this completely normal and never realize that you are acting as if your temperature is different from what you perceive it as. Next, you feel the warmth starting to emanate from within you as your body is turned into slime. It doesn't hurt. It just makes you feel very drained, similar to how a dog might feel after going for a long walk. After a few minutes your entire body is converted to slime, or was it just a few seconds? You don't know. In fact, you find that you have no sense of the passage of time anymore. Sure you can find out what time it is by looking at a clock, but until you check what time it is you will have no idea how much time has passed since you last did so but this won't bother you and you will just live life moment to moment. Sure hours might seem to go by in what feels like seconds and seconds can seem to last for hours, but you won't care. You will just enjoy things as they are happening, not caring how much longer you might be able to enjoy something for and living life moment to moment. With your entire body having been converted to slime, you find that you still feel mostly human. 
The only differences are that now the feeling of warmth is emanating from your entire body causing your relaxation, tiredness and laziness to become stronger than ever, and that it now feels like you are hugging and being hugged both inside and outside your entire body. However, this doesn't feel weird. In fact, it makes the feeling of being comforted and receiving comfort so strong that you feel a sense of love both being given to yourself and being received from yourself. Next, you feel small pulling sensations all over the surface of your slime body as it forms a thick coat of fur-like slime. Despite how lazy you feel you can't help but touch and admire it. Your fur is smooth as silk and ridiculously fluffy, and while most of the fur on your body is long, the fur on your face is short. After that, the slime that makes up your legs changes so that they are only half as tall as they had been, and so that the part of your feet between your toes and your heels is non-existent. Then, your toes merge and change shape so that you have four toes on each of your feet. Each of your new toes is one-fourth as wide as your feet are and the outer toes are as long as your longest toe was while the inner ones are slightly longer. Now, slimy claws start to grow out of the front of your toes. Their bases are each one-third as wide as the toe that they are on and half as tall as your toes are. Also, they are horizontally and vertically centered on the toe that they are on. They are half an inch long and gradually curve down and get narrower and shorter so that they each end in a slimy point that points straight down and that is level with the bottom of the toe that they are on. Despite the fact that your claws look dangerously sharp, you know that the slime that makes up your claws is not firm enough to allow them to be used for anything, especially combat. Then, you feel the underside of the last segment of each of your toes start to swell slightly to form what looks like a paw pad. This also happens on your heels in an area shaped like a rounded triangle. The bases of the triangles span the entire back edge of your heels and the tips of them are on the center of the front edge of your heels. Then, the slime makes you bend your toes upwards 45 degrees and immediately locks them in place, forcing you to walk on your toes. Next, the slime changes your legs yet again, this time making it so that you are forced to crouch. However, it makes it so that your legs bend backwards instead of forwards so that your balance is better now that you have to walk on your toes. Now, the slime makes your shoulders, arms and hands identical to your hips, legs, and feet, or more accurately, your hind paws. The only difference is that it makes your upper arms very short but compensates for this by making your lower arms as much longer as your upper arms are shorter. After that, you feel your hind legs become weaker as you are forced to stand on both your hind and fore paws. Of course, your legs, arms, hands, and feet won't actually have changed, but you will perceive them as having done so. Also, while you will perceive yourself as standing on your fore and hind paws, you will actually stand on your hands and knees. Additionally, your toes won't actually be forced to stay bent upwards at a 45 degree angle, but you won't be aware of this and will be incapable of perceiving your toes as not being bent upwards 45 degrees unless someone other than you is bending them. Now, feel yourself quickly shrink so that you are only the size of a puppy dog. In reality, your mind will just change so that things that are taller than you seem really tall while things that are as tall as or shorter than you seem really small, but you will be completely unaware that this has happened. Next. Your mind changes so that if you are standing or sitting and more than one of your paws is off of the ground, you will start to feel very heavy, forcing you to either put your paws back on the ground or collapse after them having been off of it for more than three seconds. However, you will not be aware of the fact that your mind has changed to make this happen. Instead, you will believe that it is a result of the legs of your new form not being as strong as your human ones are. After that, Feel your face stretch out to form a long muzzle as your slime teeth become sharp and pointy while extra slime teeth are made to fill in the space of your elongated mouth. Once this has happened, you will find that you can no longer make human sounds. Instead, you will be limited to making dog sounds like barking, growling, whining, whimpering, and howling. Your reduced ability to communicate won't bother you. In fact, you will find that you enjoy it no matter how frustrating it may get. Then, you feel the slime forming a tail that is covered in the same long fur as most of your body at the base of your spine. It is as long as your slime pup body is tall and one-third as wide as your slimy torso is. Also, while you can control your tail if you are focusing on it, 
it will move on its own in relation to your emotions when you are not. For instance, when you are excited it will wag back and forth and when you are sad it will go limp. Now, feel your ears move to the top of your head as they become shaped like hollow cones that have been cut in half. They are still as wide and tall as they had been, but now they are as long as they are wide. Once this is done, your hearing will be just as good as it was before the transformation began. In fact, you will even be able to control which direction your ears face, being able to rotate them a total of 90 degrees, allowing them to face forwards, towards the side of your head that they are on, and anywhere in between. You will find that it seems like your hearing is much stronger in the directions that they are pointing. In reality, your mind will just pay a lot more attention to sounds in the directions that they are pointing, causing them to seem to be louder while ones from other directions seem to be quieter. However, you will be completely unaware that this is what is actually happening. Next, your irises become as white as the slime that you are made of. As this happens, your mind changes in several ways. The first mental change is that you will really enjoy having your stomach, neck, behind your puppy ears, and the top of your head petted and scratched. It will feel so good and make you so relaxed, even more so than the constant state of relaxation that your slime pup body has you in. It will feel especially good to have behind your ears and the front of your neck scratched. Also, it will feel better to have a spot petted or scratched the longer it has been since it was last done, but it will always feel wonderful no matter how frequently you are petted or scratched. Additionally, you will find that it feels absolutely wonderful to have your ears rubbed. The second mental change makes it so that you always know that you are a human and not truly a slime pup and that you can make it so that you are your normal self again by thinking of the reset phrase I am not a slime pup with the intent of returning to normal. However, while you will be constantly aware of these things they won't make you feel any less like a slime pup and you will simply ignore this knowledge most of the time. The third mental change is that if you have someone that you would consider to be your owner or your alpha when you are a slime pup, you will feel a strong sense of platonic love towards them, meaning that your relationship with them will be intimate and affectionate but not sexual. You will also feel wonderful, loved, and very safe simply by being near them. The fourth mental change is that if you have someone that you care about, whether you consider them to be something like an owner or alpha or just a good friend, you will have a desire to make them feel good just like your slime pup body makes you feel good. You will do this by showing them affection in the ways that a puppy would by doing things like being obedient to them, by making your excitement clear when you see them because being with them makes you feel overjoyed, by snuggling up with them, by being with them when they are sad as well as just following them around in general, and by sighing deeply when you are especially happy and relaxed. You will also have a strong and not entirely controllable desire to lick people and jump on them to show affection, but those behaviors will be easy to train you out of. The fourth mental change is that you will have a brief moment of pure bliss when you are called something like a good pup or a good puppy, as well as any other praise phrases that would be appropriate to use with you. The fifth mental change is that if someone tries to make you do something dangerous or abuses you or your trust while the effects of this file or the triggers that it gives you are active, the effects will immediately become inactive and they will not be able to use the trigger that lets people that you trust turn you into a slime pup. If they try to, nothing will happen. The sixth mental change is that you will find that the sense of tiredness and laziness that your slime body creates goes away and only returns while you are trying to rest or sleep. Finally, the effects of this hypnosis file will become inactive if they are a risk to your physical body or your well-being, if they are a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that they would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if they are a risk to your mental health. Also, any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one. Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it even slightly addicting. Now, what I am about to describe won't happen when either of the trigger phrases is used, but you will experience it right now. Imagine that you are laying on a couch with your head resting on someone's lap. That someone is your alpha and you're so happy to be with them. If you don't have someone that you would consider to be your alpha then your mind will make one up that will only last as long as you are in this mental place. Near the couch is a fireplace, the heat of which just adds to the wonderful feelings caused by the heat of your slime body. You are so happy, so content, so relaxed, so tired, 
and you feel so safe, lazy, and loved. You can stay in this mental place for as long as you want, and if you stay in it for long enough you will eventually fall asleep. When you wake up after having fallen asleep or decide to leave this mental place, you will awaken in reality in your slime pup body with your part pup part human mind ready to act as you know you should. This session is almost over, and it can't be easy to think with the feelings of your slime body and the feelings brought on by being so close to your alpha coursing through your mind at the same time, so I will now leave you. Goodbye, and enjoy the wonderful feelings that are brought on by your new body and your altered mind.